Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So before we start the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge, I wanted to show you a new digi that I have out. It's called um, Vintage Frames and Photos. So it's the frames that my sister gave me for Christmas and then I added some photographs in case you guys wanted to put them into the frames or just have them, um, you know, as they are, that kind of thing. So there are eight pages and I'll go through each page so that you can see what they look like. So you can um, cut out these centers or just cut them out and put them in a journal so that you can write on these parts. I like to do that with um, frames. I haven't done it in a while, but um, that is a cool thing to do. And then um, these labels were just extras that I found while I was looking for images. And um, so I just threw them in because they, I, you know, kind of like ran out of frames, but I wanted to have this page so I just added the labels because they're really cool looking but I thought even these uh, vintage um, German scrap type ladies would look really cool in here and I just did her facing either way so that you can choose which way you want her to face or the little boy with the puppy dogs there so yeah just some little extras to add to them like if you want to put one of the labels on the frame or you know, whatever you feel like doing. But like this a picture will fit here. This one fits in this one and this little one fits in that one. Not that you have to use them like that, but that's just an option. Or you can use the images obviously all by themselves. So, and this one's just mostly frames. And I did them in different sizes so that, you know, if you just wanted one on a, um, a what do you call it, journaling card or something or a tag or whatever. This one. And not every frame might have one of these that will fit. It just was kind of whatever I found that might be fun. So you, you might have images that you want to put in them, old photos or family photos or whatever. So and that one, and like I said, there's eight pages. And this one will not have lines through it. That was my printer being goofy like it does. And then... Um, I'm going to have one coming out using these old The Little Folks magazine that I have with the fairy images. We just had some uh, problems with a couple of the pages, so we're fixing that. And then those will also be in my shop. So, And I'll show that when it's all done so you can get an idea. But those pages that I showed you the other day where I got the idea for the We Forced Folk download. So anyway... Without further ado, we're going to work on our Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. And this is a 52-week prompt challenge. There are six prompts a week. Um, one of them is a bonus prompt. You can choose to do all six, or you can replace one of the main five with the bonus prompt. That's all up to you. I usually try to do the six, but, you know, it makes no difference. Um, you do what you want to do. <laughs> um I will leave information in the description box below this video uh, where you can find Marguerite Miller on YouTube and then that'll link you to her shop and all that because you can either buy just the prompts, which is what I've done, or you can purchase her actual little planner book or the digital that is like the inside pages of the planner book if you want to put them into your own like altered book or a different kind of little, you know, book. I just, I like to use these big sketch pages. It's a... Uh, mixed media paper and they're nine by 12 inches. I like to make a pretty big collage. So um, that's why I like that better than like the planner size. And I, I don't use planners, so I probably should, but don't. So anyways, without further ado on that, let's, these are all past collages. Sorry, this light right here today, I keep hitting on everything. Probably still gonna hit it. Um, these are all the past ones, and there is a video for each one of these, so if there's one that you uh, would like to see, then there is a playlist with all my Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge videos, so you can go check those out. And let's see, this was last week's, number seven. All right, and then we're going to do eight, and I'm going to actually take this out of here. Not that I have to, but I can, and I like to because it lays nice and flat that way. We're not to the thickest point of the collage yet, but um, of the book, you know. And by the end last year, it just got so, it was like this big wobbly thing. So it's kind of nice to be able to take the pages out and put them back. All right, so this week we have, this is my blue book. Eh, I just pulled everything apart. 
Okay, so we have a person or people. I've chosen these ladies in their vintage style swimsuits there. Well, they're not, I mean, that's their swimsuits from that time. I'm thinking 20s, 30s, somewhere. I don't really know. I'm not that great with swimsuits, but anyway. Um, a business card. I have my husband's old business card. This isn't his anymore, but um, I just spattered it with paint and stuff just because it doesn't really go with any of this. Um, anything related to the sea, I've chosen this old ocean illustration. So I like that. And then... Um, a vegetable plant. I have a kelp forest because seaweed is a vegetable. Uh, let's see. A map. I have this map. And bonus is a charm. I have this little sea turtle charm. I don't love this idea because this sticks up. So this is not my favorite idea. I guess I could just glue the little sea turtle down, but I just try to choose flat. Something that would, could go flat, but it won't really go flat with the charm on it. I don't know. Don't like that a charm on there. I just don't feel like that's a great collage piece, but I didn't make the assignments. So, all right. So, a person or people, and I, I know it's not easy to come up with that many different uh, things to collage with, so I'm not throwing shade on any anybody or anything. I just am saying I don't love the charm, but I'm gonna try to make it work. <laughs> So how y'all doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm kind of having one of those crazy, hairy, I don't know what I'm doing days. I really don't like those. Where I have too many things to do, so instead I just kind of run around in circles. Yeah, it's one of those days. If y'all know what I mean. Yeah, I'm going with right around the 20s on these. She won a, an award for her swimsuit, apparently, or swimming or something. Okay, on the business card, I think I'm going to go around it. I did coffee dye it, but I think I'm going to go around it with some Mermaid Lagoon, if I can find my little dauber for that. I think, I think, where did I put them? There they are. Mermaid Lagoon. I think it's this one. I just have them all shoved in a box because I can't figure out how else to do it. I know a lot of people put Velcro on the bottom of their little stamp pads, um, but then they don't stack right. I don't know. <laughs> just seems like it's always something, right? Now I have blue fingers. But I just wanted some blue or something on this. <laughs> so maybe it sort of goes. I don't know. That was a very odd combo of things, I felt like. so. But it is often, so... All right, business card, anything related to the C. I don't know exactly how I wanna lay this out yet, but I really like this um, vintage illustration. Uh, and I don't want just squares here, so I think I'm gonna tear this. I love this blue and the green kelp together, it looks really cool the light coming down. So I definitely like that. Do I want it like outside? Under over wet, <laughs> right? Okay, and then a map. I'm trying to decide if I want like a piece or if I want to like I punch circles out of these and that's kind of fun too. Do some circles. Um, I'm going to take a piece over here where it says C, just because that's kind of fun. I don't really care for, about the north part. I just want the C. kids are both here. They're both sitting out there watching a movie, so you might hear them chatting at each other. Yay, it's a holiday, so they get to be home. <laughs> I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, maybe I want this one on this side. And then 
Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like them both sticking up at the top like that. And then I don't really want to see like the name of all of that. I don't really want to use this at all, but just because it's just so odd. Um, yeah, it still feels like it needs more. I think I will like punch some circles or something out of these just to have a few more things around. That, and then maybe we'll get mostly uh, land type one just because it looks cool. Maybe a different size. can do with that. I'm going to go around this in maybe both colors a little bit, just for something different. Yeah, if you ever get a chance, go on to um, Instagram and put in hashtag CWP, and that'll be, you know, for this challenge. And um, cause, and you can do one, two, three, four, you know, whatever week it is that you wanna look at. And you'll see all the people that have posted on Instagram, not that they're all the people that are doing it, cause you know, some people don't use Instagram or don't do social media at all. So, um, you know, they might not be on there, but there are people on there so that you can see all the different ones because there's a lot of people doing some really cool collages if you're interested in that. a bit here and then you know it cools off again but in the afternoon it's been up into the it was 60 on was it Saturday I think Friday or Saturday I get it start to get all mixed up I think it was Saturday I'm not gonna like go around every edge but just to bring in that blue a little for a little more of an ocean feel On the girls, do I want? I don't know if I. I don't think I want it on them, just because they're in the, the black and white. Okay. So I did like I think this one up here. So I'll go ahead and glue that one down. There's a lot of people, a lot more people doing it, it seems like, this year with the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, I just said it's warming up. It's snowing. <laughs> it's that weird time of the year where it does, like, sun shining, then it snows, and, you know, that whole thing. Just never know. Never know. what you're going to see when you look out the window at this time of the year. I bring that down even further. I, I kind of like, I want to see the kelp plant. I mean, that's the point, right? To have a vegetable plant. So I think I want that like that. And then this, I probably will kind of maybe stick out like that. I don't know. This is just odd. I don't really want those right next to that. I could do a circle of this too.
if my punch will want to do it. They don't love the edges, I'm going to say. But it's okay, because we're going to tuck it up like under here a little bit. And then maybe we'll put one of these over here somewhere. <coughs> maybe I can do another one of these. We'll do a couple more little ones too. Okay. I do like seaweed. Do you guys like seaweed? I mean, I hardly ever have it, but when I have had it, I like it. I like it on um, sushi, obviously, but I've also just eaten it before too, and I, I like it pretty good should eat it more because it's supposed to be really good for you all right I'll play with those more because <laughs> they're probably like can you focus for more than five seconds no the answer is no Excited, aren't I this time? I want to put below. Trying not to get the ink to come off. Oh, I didn't go around that in the blue. Oh well. It's fine. I'm going to put this down here. that yeah these are his old um business cards so he just gave me the whole box to do whatever i want with i don't know what else to do with them really but i'm sure eventually something will probably come to me because they're cardstock weight so even if you used this side instead of that side it would be they would be useful. Okay, and then our little circle here somewhere. This is here, so maybe we can go like that. And then one of these. Will my eight fit? I can pick it up. I was thinking how it, that, I think it goes this way. <laughs> you know, how you end a little bit higher, at least I do on mine. I don't know if that's an everybody kind of thing, but that's what that eight reminds me of. Wow, I could not have done that worse if I tried. glue everywhere. I don't know what's right or wrong. We're just going to put it under like this. I don't think it matters. See, that's the problem with the too much glue. Okay. I think I will put the eight on that one after I get it down here just push lightly, Amy, instead of like digging it in there, right? Okay. It needs something else. I think this, I'm probably gonna end up just doing something like that. I'm guessing, I kind of feel like it needs something up there. I mean, I'll probably put some of those circles, but I feel like it needs something else, too. <coughs> um, what about maybe a piece of this, just for color's sake? I mean, the design's kind of cool, too, but... Yeah, 
that. I definitely like that. Do not maybe this side. I don't want to cover the C part. I actually like that side better, so I'm going to do it that way. And I'm going to tear this just a little bit. Tear that. And then it only needs to go to like about here. These are those scraps that um, I did like, Louisa Heinzel, where you put them in a box. I didn't do a video for this. I just did it the other day, messing around. But you put the scraps in a box and then, you know, put coffee and spatter ink and paint and all kinds of stuff on them. And that works great. Because these are um, Medieval Mirage scraps that I have left over. And they were just the black and white because it was her silhouette. Um digital download and uh I'm gonna do this first so it just added you know a little color to them which was fun I don't really need to do that side but good colors I don't wanna It's lifting right there. Turn it the right way. Okay. And then I think I will add a couple more circles. I kind of liked that. It reminds me of sand up there. Is that or this? Yeah, maybe I'll do the seaweed there. And then I don't like that glue right there. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more circle out of this. much covering the whole business card but uh, I didn't really want to even use that but was I using that one or the other one I think it was this one right this one up here could come it just needs to be there. Okay. Oh, yuck. It's really coming down now. Hey, you guys should look outside. Up there, this 
come down here. Yucko, yuckos. It's more like hail, really. It's, wow. Um, I need to go like that. Okay. I'll get this one down. Now I feel like I need something higher up at the top because I put this one so low down. You can't really see me very good on my glue book over here, but I'm just putting glue down. Yeah, it got real dark. Oh, I forgot to glue that one down up there. Oh, I did glue it down. I just didn't get it very good, I guess. Circles aren't wanting to glue. Okay. And our girls, let's see. I don't know where I want them. I did that a little crooked. <laughs> Not surprising. I think on this side. that's gonna put me even again but I kind of feel like it needs it kind of thinking like one more of those because <laughs> they're probably like oh my gosh stop with the circles I kind of need like an in-between size of those but I don't know if I can get this one to punch sometimes it will sometimes it won't I should have done the whole uh, post-it note thing and I didn't So I heard today that the Queen of England has COVID, so I'm hoping she's all right. I mean, it sounds like what they said she is, so that's excellent because she's like 95 or something. I don't know. It's crazy. Let's see, it just is. It's working better than it was since my husband took it apart and messed with it, but. It's still a little sketchy on whether it'll actually work or not. She'll probably outlive all of us, so <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about her. She's a tough one. which is excellent. We all hope to be so fortunate, right? 
Okay, I think I'm done with circles now, I promise. Just needed it to balance. Okay, and then our little charm. Hmm. I just don't know. I mean, I guess I could just glue the charm on, but that sort of seems... It's just so... You know, with the pin, it sticks up. I wonder how else I could do it, if I could do it, like, with like a thread or a something. It's just so fat. Let me see what I can find here. I don't know if I'll be able to get something like that in there. No, of course, I'm never going to get that through there, right? Oh, yay. I still don't know. I feel like it needs to be, like, attached to something. <laughs> I don't know. This is annoying. Let's try. I kind of like a little bit of the green, you know what I mean? Oh, hold on, I'm going to close my door. <laughs> Still hurt, but it's not quite as bad. <laughs> I've got ink under my nails, everything. Okay. I just don't want that pin because it's just like hogging up too much space and it's gonna make my pages weird and I don't like that. I'm going to attach it. I guess I'll just maybe glue it underneath of that, that top part of the threads. I want it to be flat as possible. <coughs> I did like this with it, but I don't like the pin because it sticks up too high. Okay, so let's try this. I know I don't have to do this part, but... I like to have all six things. It's just my own silly thing, but. Not, don't have to. But at least I found that little turtle. I'm surprised I even had anything sort of ocean related because it's really, I don't do a whole lot with the ocean stuff. I don't know why, just don't. Probably because I've never, you know, I mean, I've been to the ocean. I don't want to say I've never been to the ocean because I have. But, I mean, I've not ever lived near the ocean or anything like that. So, I think it's just not always on my radar. Okay. 
That's a crazy one, everybody. I feel like a lot of them have been lately. Maybe it's just me <laughs> struggling with them because it seems like everybody else is doing great. <sighs> I feel like I'm struggling. Okay. I like it though. I like how it turned out. So that's the important part, right? Well, the process too, of course, is fun. But it's kind of a bummer when it doesn't come out the way you want it to. <laughs> okay. We'll probably do a few little stamps here and there. Maybe we'll do have my bubbles or dots or whatever. I like to call them bubbles. Have the cracks and the little um, five cent thing. Getting a very good print on those, am I? Okay. There's that. I think I want some white spatters, and that's all on that. Can't pick anything out. Okay. See if I can open my gesso. Hold on just a second. I gotta find my paintbrush. Okay, just as I thought. I left it downstairs by the sink after I washed it. <laughs> Makes it a little hard to use in a video, right? Oh, cover their faces. I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm really getting better at this. <laughs> I usually remember at least before I spatter paint everywhere. makes me think of like, you know, the bubbles in the ocean. A little more water, it's just not doing its thing. There we go. Probably hard to see for you guys, but it's there. Okay. Here it is. So we have person or people, uh, a business card, anything related to the sea, which is um, this. <laughs> Gosh, I'm like, where is it? It's just right in the middle, Amy. Um, a vegetable plant, which is the kelp. A map is all over the place. And a charm is the little turtle. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> and um, hopefully, I don't know, <laughs> are inspired. That, that would be awesome. So I hope you have a wonderful day. And we will chat again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.